I think the redrawing to QS CAD version 4 is a much quicker exercise than it's ever been before. We open up our project manager, decide which division and which project we're going to work on. Our division, project, and we have sections. So I've created a section here from my external works. Right click and say I've got a new drawing. We're going to find the new drawing file. That's in my documents. Let's cut data. Drawings. Sample. I'm going to pick this one here. It picks up the name there. Also, you'll notice the file name had the revision in it, so I'm going to take that out because the revision will be in the next box down. So I can put in the revision letter. I often try and put what the revision is for. That's my tender issue. And say, OK, you'll see that now adds it to my list of drawings. And if I open it up, and it'll tell me I haven't checked the scale. I'll say I want to check the scale now. It'll open the drawing for me. It's a DWG file. Now, in the new version of QSCAD, we've been able to add a feature where, rather than you hunt for a dimension, if there, we can click find dimension. If there's one that it recognizes as a dimension, it finds it. It tells you what the measured length is, and you can check that the known length is the same. If it's different, you can change it, and it's now ready to go. Similar with a PDF file. If we open, say that we made a PDF file, again, we go back to our project that we were working on, and at this time I'm going to say I want to add another drawing so this doesn't work. That's a new drawing. When we browse, all we have to do is change the file type. Now, notice a number of file types here. We can support DXF files, DGN files. There's an AutoCAD format, and that's a Bentley format. And we've also got PDFs in here as well. So I'm going to pick up this site layout here, and I'm going to add it in. Again, this is going to be Revision A. And again, it might be my tender drawing. When we open a PDF in QSCAD version 4, it will convert it to a DWG file. So once it's added it in, we can open it from here. And you'll see it's asking if I want to scale it, as I do. You'll see it opens it up. We can zoom in. You'll notice already that my cursor is snapping to the lines in here. So I need to calibrate this. So I there's, we can't do a fine dimension in the converted uh, PDF file. So I'm just going to use this change to help me calibrate it. I'll go from there to there. It tells me it thinks it's 39 metres long, which obviously is wrong. So I can tell it's 10,000 millimetres. Okay, and now this drawing is calibrated and ready to go.